You're a superhero Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell to update if I post another video. Thank you. Hello everyone. So for today's video, tatalakay naman natin kung paano natin isolve ang pagkuha ng partial sum of arithmetic sequence at saka ang arithmetic mean. So simula na tayo. Partial sum of an arithmetic sequence. The sum, S sub n, of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence is given by this formula. S sub n equals n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So, let me request everyone or you to please note this formula. Because later on, we're going to use this formula in solving. So next, we're asked S sub n is the partial sum. Read as A sub 1 is the first term. The n is the ordinal number of a term. And A sub n is the n term. So, these are the formulas to remember. So, when finding the partial sum of an arithmetic sequence, we use these three formula. The, com the common difference, the n term, and the partial sum. And for the common difference, the formula is d equals a sub 2 minus a sub 1. And finding the a sub n, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And finding the partial sum, s sub n equals n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So next, the arithmetic sequence 3, 8, 13, 18. So first, write the given. So what are the givens? Our n here is 15, the ordinal number. And our a sub 1 is 3. And what are we going to find? The first, the common difference, the n term, a sub n, and the partial sum, s sub n. So what are the formulas? So again, there are three formulas. So first, the common difference, which is the d a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Our n term, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. Then the partial sum is n divided by 2 and then a sub 1 plus a sub n. So next, the solution. Solutions. So first, the d. d equals a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Our a sub 2 is 8. And our a sub 1 is 3. So 8 minus 3 is 5. And then the a sub n, the n term. So a sub 1, a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. So our a sub 1 is 3. And then our n is 15 minus 1. Our difference is 5. 3, 15 minus 1, 14, 5. 3 plus 14 times 5 is 70. And then just add this to 73. So the last solution is the partial sum. S sub n equals 
10 divided by 2 a sub 1 plus a sub n and is 15 divided by 2 and then our a sub 1 is 3 plus 73 and then so in here as you can see when you divide 15 divided by 2 so the answer is decimal right decimal 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so we have two solution here depend on the direction of your teacher so ask your teacher if she can accept the decimal answer or the fraction answer so this is the decimal and here is the fraction so i'm gonna write the fraction here and divide by 2 a sub 1 plus a sub n so n is 15 divided by 2 and sorry wait okay. so let me write so 15 divided by 2 and then our a sub 1 is 3 and then plus our a sub n is 73 So first we're, we're gonna solve the decimal the decimal solution. So 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 and then 73 plus 3 is 76. So just multiply 7.5 7.5 times 76 is Five hundred seventy. So again, please ask your teacher if she recommend or oh yeah, if she recommend to answer the decimal one or the fraction or both. So next, the fraction one. So, do you know the rule when multiplying fraction, right? So, when multiplying fraction, there's a imaginary 1. So, all you have to do is add first 73 plus 3 is 76. And then, 76 times 15 is 1000. 140 and then 2 times 1 is 2 so when you divide 1140 1140 divided by 2 is still 570 so this they still come up with the same answer So this is the fraction one and this is the decimal one. So you can choose both both and you can choose both answer. If the teacher would prefer the decimal or the fraction. So this is the answer. So next for the arithmetic mean. So the word mean is the word mean in math is very similar to us so the term between two given terms of an arithmetic sequence when finding the arithmetic mean we only use this formula which is the common difference d equals l minus f divided by n minus 1 so mean is the middle like five six seven so six is the mean where the example is again seven six five four six and five is the mean so next whereas l is the last term 
F is the first term, and N is the ordinal number of a term. So here, answer to arithmetic mean between 8 and 23. So answer 2. What do you mean by that? Between 8 and 23. So first write the 8 and 23. It says here to add 2. So 2. So 2 mean. 2 mean. You have to add in here. Insert 3 arithmetic mean between 4 and 20. So 4. Insert 3. So mean there are 3 mean in between 4 and 20. So that's it. So what's the formula again? So we only have to use the D equals L minus F divided by N minus 1. Whereas the L is the last term which is the 23. F is the first term, which is the 8. N is the ordinal number, means the whole. So, how many numbers here? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. And here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in here, there are 5 ordinal numbers. And then, subtract it to 1. So, first, the last term is 23. And then subtracted to 8 divided by n. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 minus 1. 23 minus 8. It's 15. Divided by 3. So 15 divided by 3. It's 5. 5. So next, this is just the common difference. So next, we have to we have to guess or we have to solve the two mean in here between eight and three. So to answer that, you have to add addition only. So eight, so eight, and then just add it. But the just add it by using the common difference which is 5 8 plus 5 is 13 so here it's 13 and then 13 add it again by 5 so 18 so 18 so the two arithmetic mean between 8 and 23 is 13 and 18 that is just so simple. In here, we're just using the formula. So, you can solve it eye to eye. Like, you don't have to use the formula or solve. You just have to guess. Count in your hands like that. So, the gap between here is 5. Like that. So, 18. So, again, 18 plus 5 is 23. See? It's 23. So next, answer 3 arithmetic mean between 4 and 20. So again, write the formula L minus F divided by N minus 1. Our last term is 20 minus 4. Our N is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 minus 1. 20 minus 4. It's 16 divided by 4. So 4, 8, 12, 16. 4, 8, 12, 16. 4. It's 4. So next, just add. So the first term. Add 4 plus 4. 8. 8. 8 plus 4. 12. 12 plus 4. 16 16 plus 4 so it's 20 
So again, our answer is 20. So therefore, the three arithmetic mean between 4 and 20 is 8, 12, and 16. So that is how to answer arithmetic mean and partial sum of arithmetic of arithmetic sequence so again if you have questions you can comment down below and i'm encouraging everyone to please like this video and subscribe because it helps me a lot so thank you everyone for listening i hope you learned something about our discussion for today See you and goodbye.